Okay, so there's a lot of talk about iOS 7 and how you have no privacy. Well, there are a bunch of, of new settings, um, but I'm going to show you how to uh, make your life a little bit more private if you care about that. Go under settings, and uh, you'll see privacy. Scroll down to privacy, choose that. First thing you want to note is location services. Now, this list is all the apps that are using your GPS to track your location. So if you don't want it to track you, your uh, location, just uh, go ahead and hit that little switch, turn them off. If you don't want anything to track your location, then you just tick that little button there and it will stop any app from tracking your location. Another thing to note on this screen, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see um, a couple definitions, three definitions there. So if you go down to the bottom here, a gray icon means that it has tracked your location within the last 24 hours. Uh, if it's purple, then it's recently, like within the last hour, has tracked your location. If it has an outline, purple outline, and, it's, and these are all on here so you can read them, um, it means it's tracked your location and searched for uh, things in your perimeter around your area. So those are the definitions for the little icons that you may see next to these uh, apps. So it's good to know what those Okay, another thing for. I want to show you, and it's um, in settings, privacy, location services again. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the apps, you will find system services. So you go in there, it'll open up another um, menu. And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of that, you'll see a status bar icon. Now that is off by default. So you probably want to turn that on because that will put a little GPS symbol up um, next to your battery percentage or next to your battery to tell you when an app is currently tracking your location. So you, it'll be a lot easier to see when your phone is using GPS. So you want to turn that on. Um, another thing, that so in this list here, so you want to, if you're wanting to make your life more private, you want to uh, turn off diagnostics and usage. And that is supposedly anonymously taking statistics of your usage and sending it to Apple. So if you don't want it to do that, turn that off. Same with ads, location-based iAds. So those are, um, it's gonna use your location to you know, display ads for local businesses in the area. Turn that off, it's not really necessary. So um, those two things to uh, keep you, uh, make your life a little bit more private. If you want to turn all these off, you can go right ahead, turn them off. You may find certain things may not work, or you may have to uh, go in here and re-enable it whenever you need it. Another thing to notice is this frequent locations menu. If you open that on, or open that up, you'll see frequent locations is on. So frequent locations tracks uh, your location and where you frequently visit and then it keeps a list and then uh, so there's the city list there and if I click on that it will bring up you know an actual addresses of where I have been so that is kind of uh, it could get go either way it could be a good thing to have um, or not so good thing so that if you're worried about that go turn frequent locations off. Okay, another thing under settings and privacy, we're looking for advertising down at the bottom. Then you will see ad limit ad tracking. I've already went in here and turned this on, so I want it to limit uh, ad tracking. That's off by default, so, so you wanna turn that on. Okay, another one under settings, go to Safari. 
and then you are looking for privacy and security and you see this says do not track so you want that on I believe it is off by default so just make sure that that is on okay so as you can see it's very simple to go back in and regain some of your privacy that you lost with the upgrade of iOS 7 uh, please share this video give it a big old thumbs up if you uh, learned something and uh, share it so other people can uh, gain some of their privacy back and feel a little bit safer using iOS 7 thank you subscribe please check out my other videos uh, the one on increasing battery life for iOS 7 and then there's some iOS 7 tips as well so check them out